It's actually a good thing that I delayed creating this tutorial as Obsidian just changed their logo. So what is Obsidian? It is a note-taking app that uses Markdown syntax and a graph database to link your notes together. It is a powerful tool to help you manage and organize your thoughts. And it can also be used in various ways like personal knowledge management, writing, or even research. It can be a great tool for building your second brain. What I like the most about Obsidian is that it's really fast. Note-taking on Notion can really feel a little bit slow, but I always had a smooth experience with Obsidian. In this video, I'll guide you on how you can get started with Obsidian and transform it into your second brain over time. So in case you're new over here. Hey guys, my name is Pritz Viraj. I'm an electronic music producer, a part-time gamer, and I also try to make videos. Firstly, go to the description box below the like button and you will find the link to download Obsidian. You can download it for both Windows and Mac OS. You will be greeted up with this window when you open Obsidian for the first time. Here, we'll have to create a new vault. It's basically a folder that will store all the data. But before we get going, there is something you need to know about Obsidian if you want to use it on multiple platforms. If you want to switch between OS while using Obsidian, then you'll have to pay for Obsidian Sync that will allow you to sync across all the devices. But there is a workaround to this. If your primary computer is running on Mac OS and if you use an iPhone as your daily driver, then you can simply sync it using iCloud. Else if you don't care about mobile devices and you just want to use Obsidian on your desktop computer and your Mac OS, then you can simply sync using Google Drive or iCloud. You can get the iCloud app for Windows as well. But here lies the problem. If you use an Android device as your daily driver, then things might be a little bit complicated to sync if you don't pay for the subscription. But there is still a way you can do that using Google Drive. So maybe I'll create a video on that sometime because it's a little bit complex. But there is also a workaround to that by which you will be able to sync your Android device and Google Drive with Obsidian. We will leave this for some other video because it's a very lengthy process. You can even search it up if you want. But the simple note is that if you want a seamless experience, then you have to get Obsidian sync and that made me sad. I would have really appreciated if there was no paywall to use it on different devices. But enough of that, let's continue with the video. So I'll be creating a new vault in iCloud as I would like to access it using my Windows PC my MacBook and my iPhone. Let's rename this vault. Let's call it demo and let's select iCloud in the location. You can also choose Google Drive if that's something you needed to. And we are finally inside Obsidian. This is what the interface looks like. On the left hand side panel, you can create new folders and organize your notes. I generally start by creating two folders, one called notes, another one called projects. I generally store my personal notes and inspirations under the notes folder and I manage all my work related stuff under the projects window. Let's create a random note. Right click and create a new note. Let's call it demo for tutorial. And now you can type whatever you want under it. This is the basic fundamental of Obsidian. Simply creating notes and organizing it properly. However, there are more to it than that. You can use the hashtag command to create and manage the size of the headings. For example, a single hashtag will create quite a large heading. But if you wanted something smaller, then you can simply type two hashtags instead of one. And also, as you can see, they disappear once you hit enter. You can add three or even more hashtags to create smaller headings. I guess you get the idea behind it. There is a word counter in the bottom right. If you are writing an essay or a journal, then this info might come in handy to you. So let me show you how I would have managed my Obsidian. You can follow along with me in case you wanted an hands-on experience. I rather recommend that you follow along with me. Let's create a folder called YouTube Uploads. I will simply drag and drop this under the projects folder. Now let's create a folder called Content Ideas and drag it under the YouTube Uploads folder. Let's create a new note this time and let us call it Obsidian Tutorial. Here's an interesting thing about Obsidian I'd like to show you. When you type something within third brackets, it will create a new note for you. Let's drag this note under the content ideas folder and I will show you what this basically does. Now, when I click on that highlighted text, as you can see, it opens up a new note. This is called linking notes. And let me show you how this can be useful. Let's create a new folder called script. And after that, let's drag the new note inside it. Let us just imagine this is my video script. Now, when I go to my previous note called content ideas and I click on the highlighted text from there, it will lead you to the note under the scripts folder. It basically becomes a shortcut for you to directly go to a specific note. If you click that button on your right, a new panel will appear and you will be able to see all the linked mentions under that section. Let me make it easier for you to understand. Let's say I note down my video ideas under this note. Maybe I would like to create a tutorial on Notion or maybe Evernote for that matter. I would be typing them in third bracket so that I can link them with their respective scripts. Drag and drop the created notes into the scripts folder to stay organized. Now, every time you're in the ideas page, you can directly go to the respective script page with one click. This can really speed up your workflow and help you stay productive. All right, so this is a bit complex, but I would like to show you anyway. Obsidian has a graph mode. When you click on this button, it will open up the graph. 
Since the three nodes are interconnected with the content ideas, they are attached with each other. The more nodes you have, the more complex your graph will become. Let's try linking the Obsidian node with the Notion node. I just need to link using the same third brackets. Now, if we go back to the graph view, you will be able to see that Notion and Obsidian are linked with each other as well. And if you're enjoying this video so far, then I'd really appreciate if you could hit that like button. You know, it helps me out with the so-called YouTube algorithm that I have no clue about. It has this daily note button. When I click on it, it will create a new note with today's date. But to take the most advantage of the daily note feature, we need to add a calendar. Click on the settings button and go to community plugins section. Turn on community plugins and click on browse. You can go through all the plugins and add whichever tool you think would be necessary for you. I am going to add the calendar plugin for now. So just simply go ahead and click on install and it will be adding it to Obsidian. Now go back to the settings tab to enable the plugins. I've also added this task plugin to check it out later. Now when you click on this button in the right panel, you will get a calendar view. Now you can simply click on a particular date to add a note on that specific date. Here's a note taking tip I would like to give you. Always have a page called Quick Note. You can simply type in random ideas or tasks you need to complete, but you might forget about it. So it's always better to note them down. You can easily create bulleted list using the hyphen or you can simply create a numbered list. If you add something in between, it will automatically adjust the numbered list for you. Neat. These were pretty much the basics you can play around and manage and organize your notes as per your liking. Obsidian has many more advanced features like this canvas mode for example. Let's leave that for some other video. If you wanna know what my three favorite productivity apps are then click here. Else if you wanna take a look at the new note taking app by Microsoft then click here. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you there.